When someone is new in the back of the guide seat, it reminds me of like a cow that was just born and trying to walk. People definitely think that their guide had these skills and this was like an innate, almost unlearned ability. But a lot of it is just training and building on that work ethic and people's skills. As instructors, we are trying to push everyone. We're trying to have failure over and over and over again without really breaking people. It doesn't work, Clayton. That's <laughs> <laughs> not the way to do it. <laughs> it was totally wrong. Don't do that. I think that if someone is searching for employment, we definitely want to see what people are going to be like when they're pushed to their limit. We want to see how people are going to respond when they're stressed, when they're tired, when, you know, maybe they're even afraid. But I want to tailor this guide school to what they're searching for, and it's not always to just get beat down every day. So definitely a fine line of trying to walk between giving uh, your guests the experience that they're looking for, but also giving them an experience that they'll grow from. So Swiftwater Rescue class uh, basically is going to be oriented around safety. So these guys are going to learn how to throw a rescue rope, how to flip the boat right side up, how to safely cross a river, how to set up a sea drag, mechanical advantages, vector pools. So I want you to form the pyramid, try and go out as far as you can, and then come back. It's a ton of hard work, so if you come in with the mindset that you're on a vacation, uh, you must just like type too fun because it is a lot of work. It's really physically demanding. I remember the first three days, my whole back was like crying, but it's gone. It's kind of an exciting challenge, like what they do. Like, oh, I, at a certain point, I'm gonna be able to do that. I'm gonna be every day. So that would be really cool that I'm just able to do that. Cool. Now give me a try. There you go. Now look up. Originals first class on the game. Out on these streets, everybody around here knows the name. Oh, look at that draw! Mommy! My man! A thousand percent, but we can't. Troublemaker Rapid is one of the trickiest rapids on all forks of the American. Troublemaker lives up to its name almost on a daily basis, but it's a pretty common place for um, flips to happen and swimmers. Crashing and burning plays the best role in training. You know, it's everything all at once. So we're learning about how the water is moving. We're learning about how the water impacts our boat. We are learning about like the small differences when you're starting a rapid and the vastly different finishes once you've you know, had a slightly different angle or a slightly different level of momentum. So it teaches us a lot about the river. Also teaches us a lot about ourselves. So in this crash and burn moment, you know, a lot of times we're falling out, our coworkers are falling out, our boat is flipping. We suddenly went from being in this stable piece of rubber to now all swimming in the river uh, and kind of on our own. So it's it's a huge, huge teaching moment that is definitely like one of the best tools for teaching in guide school. I left too much What's up with Troublemaker? <laughs> troublemaker causes a whole lot of trouble with me. Um, something about it and I don't get along. Mostly the part where I try to stay in the raft. <laughs> it's a big reality. That water is powerful. So we try to put people in situations that um, make them realize that that's kind of where their, their standing is at. 
and then the river does a lot of the rest of the work for them. So usually if um, you know, you're feeling pretty confident, the river has a way of working those things out and pretty quickly, you know, the more experience you have, the more you realize you actually don't know very much. And I mean, I've been guiding for eight seasons and the longer I do it, I'm like, wow, there's a lot. I still don't know sometimes. <laughs> Woodrow, what the hell happened there? Work hard, play hard, Saudi. <laughs>